Hello and welcome to our ultimate guide to roundabouts. Today we'll be looking at complex roundabouts and we'll show you how to overcome some of the common problems when facing these tricky roundabouts. In this tutorial we're going to be using the notorious Hartz's roundabout in Norwich. This roundabout is difficult because it has five exits, no lane markings and it's always busy with pedestrian crossings and shops near the exits. Make sure you watch to the end because we're going to be showing you how to get into the gaps on the roundabout. So lots to cover, we better get started. As with all roundabouts we're going to be using the MSPSL routine, so that's mirrors, signal, position, speed, gear and look. At this roundabout we're going to be turning left, so that's the first exit towards Thorpe End. OK, so we're going to check centre mirror and left mirror, pop on a left signal and we're going to position to the left. We're just going to pause the video here because we need to keep to the green side for left and we need to be aware of traffic coming in on the right that will be in the red path. So we're just looking into the roundabout now, looking for a safe gap, there it is. Check that left mirror, looking for cyclist. Check the right mirror into the new road. And now we're going to check centre mirror and right mirror again. Here we're going to keep our speed lay because of queuing traffic. OK, let's look at a different approach. Here we've just got a queue of traffic, so we're going to keep the junction clear in case people want to come through. And we're going to be turning left, that's the second exit towards the city centre. Here we have cars queuing ahead with a parked car, so we're going to check centre mirror and left mirror, make sure that's safe to come in. We're not going to signal left just yet because that would be confusing to people in the first exit. Remember we're taking the second exit. We're keeping our position to the left, looking into the roundabout, looking for a safe gap to go. Checking our mirrors, looking for those cyclists again. Pause here, we're going to be keeping to the left, aiming at the second exit on the green path, being aware of vehicles to the right. Into the roundabout, making sure we time our signal correctly so we don't confuse people in the first exit. Then into the new road, we're going to check those mirrors and make progress if it's safe to do so. We're now going to go ahead, third exit towards Ipswich, which appears to be at 12 o'clock. Local knowledge tells me it's going to be to the right past 12 o'clock, so I'm going to check my centre mirror, right mirror, and position to the right. There's no road markings here, so I'm just keeping to the right. I'm going to put a right signal on to let people know where I'm going, and I'm just looking for a gap in traffic. I'm looking ahead into the third exit. It's slightly to the right where those traffic lights are. As I go into the roundabout, I'm going to keep my position to the right past the first and second exits with my signal on. Pause here, look it into the third exit where the traffic lights are. Need to make sure my exit's clear so I don't block the car to my left on that green path. My exit's clear, so mirrors, signal and into the new road. Keeping my eye on the pedestrian and the pedestrian crossing. OK, so for another approach now, we're going to be going ahead, second exit, 12 o'clock. Checking those mirrors, looking for push bikes, motorbikes coming down either side as we're stuck in traffic. Got a pedestrian crossing on green and an entrance to a shop on the left. Now I'm going to keep the pedestrian crossing clear in case someone needs to cross, and just as well I did, because there he is. And I'm being careful not to block the crossing, make sure my exit's clear before moving forward. Just remembering to check those mirrors because I'm moving off, looking for those bikes either side. On approach this roundabout, notice that the lane is just wide enough to support one car, so we're going to keep to the centre of our lane. We're going to keep to the centre of our lane marked by the green area. Into the roundabout, check centre, left mirror, left signal. Position to let the blue car and the silver car know that we're leaving the roundabout. OK, so let's talk you through the approach for this roundabout. We're going to be going ahead, third exit, towards the city centre. Just speed things up a little bit, because there's queuing traffic. We're going to check those mirrors, centre and right. We're not going to signal, because this time our exit is at 12 o'clock, and we're just going to position like the car is in front, just slightly to the right, because we've got two exits on our left. Just checking those mirrors for bikes coming up either side. Looking for a gap in the roundabout, 
our third exit is ahead, 12 o'clock. We're not signaling right as we're going ahead. We're going to use the green path aware of danger to the left on that red path. Now we mirror signal left to benefit the car on the left and the car on the right waiting to go into the roundabout. And as you can see, it's making progress into the new roads. We're gonna check our mirrors, make sure it's safe before we get on with it. Okay, so for the final approach, we're gonna be turning right, third exit towards Great Yarmouth. Now, as you can see, it's a very busy approach with pedestrian crossings, buses pulling out, bus stop on the right, pulled up, shops on the right, car emerging to the left there. So we're gonna check those mirrors, get that signal on. Looking for a gap into the roundabout. Checking those mirrors before we go in. Keeping to the right past the first exit. Keeping right past the second exit. Mirror signal, position left into the third exit. Check those mirrors. Let's make progress. One of the most difficult things with dealing with roundabouts is judging when to go. Watching this clip, you can probably appreciate just how difficult it can be to get a gap in a roundabout. Here we have two streams of traffic coming out of the third exit. There's also the fourth exit to our right and the second exit just over where that blue car is coming from. So potentially here we've got four streams of traffic coming towards us. So you can appreciate that this roundabout is very difficult to get that gap. A really effective way to get into a roundabout is to look for blockers. Here the blue car to the right has priority so we would have to wait for them. However, if we look into the roundabout, we can see the silver car positioning to exit the roundabout. Can't see a signal, but his position clearly tells us he's heading off the roundabout, as is the car behind, the second silver car, and then look at the third dark car exiting the roundabout. Now, if we look into the roundabout, the blue car circled in red is positioning off, which is releasing those cars from the right, so we would have to wait. So on this occasion, we missed our chance to go because of those three blockers. So if we continue to look into the roundabout, we're looking for more blockers. I've slowed it down here and look at that blue car positioning off the roundabout as is the second one. And that gives us the perfect opportunity to get in the roundabout and make progress. So let's look at this roundabout. We've got cars coming from the right from both exits. So it's still very busy and see if you can identify where the next blocker will come from. So here I've paused it, look at the dark car, he's positioning off the roundabout. So after that white van, we get our chance to get into that roundabout. Okay, so let's look at another one, different approach this time. See if you can identify that gap. Start to look across the roundabout, look at that first red car. Look at his position, that's our opportunity to go. Let's look at one last approach and you tell me when you would go. Look at the roundabout and you decide. Good decision, well done. Well that's the end of our video tutorial on busy roundabouts. I hope you found it useful. Please like and subscribe and please leave comments about what you'd like us to cover next. See you in the next video.